as the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, United Kingdom gets underway, Nigerians aimed for medal hall after a respectable showing by our athletes at the just concluded World Athletics Championship in Oregon, United States of America, still basking in the euphoria of our triumph and world record performance. Nigeria hodler Topi Amoson aims to maintain her winning form at the Commonwealth Games. Today, yeah. Toby. Uh, Toby, Toby uh, really made a lot of us happy. Um, Femi Adesina, the president's spokesman, said he was shedding tears when, uh, mm. when, he, when Toby won that gold. I shed tears when we lost the 4 by 100 meters um, bronze medal by whiskers after the Nigerian women's team broke a 30 year old record. Mm. You know, it, it was painful that you broke the record, but you couldn't win a medal. Okay, okay, let's quickly join former Olympian and queen of Nigerian sprints, Mary Onyandi Omagbomi, joins us now on, for more on that discussion. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having me. I'm sorry Did about I will not the audio and my position in. Thank you, Mary. Thank you for being uh, so patriotic, for being a wonderful servant of our country mm. over the years. And uh, it's a good thing that you are still there serving your fatherland. Thank you for what you do. Mm. How would you, uh, how do you think the, the um, performance of Amuson, her world record uh, um, title win, uh, uh, winning the um, title at Oregon and also setting a world record in the process. How will it help athletics in our country? Thank you very much. Um, Toby Amuson's performance in Oregon it's like a, a trigger or a catapult to what is yet to come here in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Toby Amoson in, in uh, Oregon broke the national record, the continent record, and the world record, and also got, uh, became the world champion and the facility record. Everything all in one, five records all in one, mm -hmm. in one day, mm -hmm. performance, it's outstanding. Uh, I, I now see the reason why, or we now see the reason why some people were questioning her performance because it was unbelievable. But oh, wow. that notwithstanding, we knew, we that are close to Toby in the athletics family, we knew right from Tokyo last year that this world record was long awaited. It would have happened in Tokyo, mm. but God knows why, you know, it just didn't happen then. Uh, you know, like they said, God's time is the best. So God decided to, to give it to her a year later. It's better late than never. So with that performance, uh, she has really opened the, the floodgate of all the good things that we're expecting to happen here. We're all going to ride on the, on the coattail of her performance in Oregon to give Nigeria victory here in uh, Birmingham. Yeah. Uh, Mary. The four by 100 meters relay team erased your record set in 1992, but came short of a medal, despite of uh, erasing that 30 year old record. Uh, are the athletes disappointed in themselves that they, they couldn't match the, um, the new African record that they set with a medal? Well, no athletes uh, that I know on this planet will go to a competition and not want to come back with a medal, especially coming close, so close as fourth place. When they were not even on the record book, they were nowhere in the radar as far as statistics are concerned going into the competition. You know how we got in there? No. We barely didn't make it because of some circumstances that we all know. Mm -hmm. And eventually we got in there by the grace of God. And for them to have risen from 16th place, 
last qualifier going into the competition proper, and then 12th place after the uh, semifinals, and then fourth place in the final. To me, it's, it's worth more than a medal, but a medal would have just sealed it. That, that The performance that our relay team put out there was classic. It was full of, uh, it, uh, there was determination, discipline, and dedication written all over it. Those girls were hungry. They really wanted to get a medal, but we will take what they have given us. The African record is good enough, and the fact that they rose from the bottom of the pack all the way to fourth place when nobody gave them a chance. They had the worst lane in the competition so far, from the semifinals to the final. They had bad lanes, but they didn't. They didn't waver. They, they capitalized on the on the on the lanes and whatever uh, bad luck threw at them and came forth. To us, that's a victory by itself. Yes, they broke my uh, African uh, African record in the relay, but the, the good thing on that again is that. It is them that broke it. I would rather a Nigerian team break it than another African uh, nation. So uh, to, to us, we will take what we got there. We are going to capitalize on that and make that fourth place, turn it into a gold here. That team was very young. That uh, uh, the crop of um, uh, four by one hundred meters runner was very young. Not many people thought that they would go that far. Uh, was it also a surprise to you, their handlers? No, 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 no. You see, at this stage, at the world stage, nothing should surprise us, especially those in the athletics family. We already knew that they were going to do something fantastic. These girls, are uh, on the total, they were all averaging 10, 8, 10, 9 when they were competing in their various schools before coming, uh, going to the World Championship. So we knew already they have the foot speed. They have the speed, speed to, to, to make up uh, the stagger. But what we are, we are hoping that they will do perfectly, because they have not trained together for a long time, coming from different schools, is to get the baton exchange correctly and get it around. Because you can't finish a race without a baton in your hand. So the key factor, uh, well, what we're looking out for them to do is just, just get the baton around. We know that you have the foot speed to make it up in the middle. And that was exactly what they did. They just played safe and got the baton around. But here, after uh, Oregon, they've practiced a couple of times and used Oregon as a, as a warm-up. Right here, we pray that nothing goes wrong and they will get the baton right and run a faster time. So we expect another African record and a gold medal in the process. Okay, um, uh, Mary, uh, at a point in our history, 100 meters was taken as Nigeria's best chance. We, no, no country competes with us when it comes to 100 and 200 meters in Afri as far as Africa is concerned. Uh, what happened? How come we are not getting those world beaters mm. again as it used to be? Yes. And, second, and secondly, what are the prospects uh, that we are seeing in, in, the, for, uh, in the Commonwealth game. How do you think that Nigeria is going to fare uh, in this Commonwealth game? You know, in everything, you must plan and realign. We have been waiting for this uh, crop of athletes that we're seeing right now. Like you said, they're all young and they're all student athletes. We waited for this moment to come because the, the likes of myself, and then the likes of uh, Blessing came and went. Mm -hmm. Now we're looking for, we're, we're grooming a new wave of young athletes, both in men and women. And majority of them, 80% of them to be precisely, are all in the US as student athletes. Mm -hmm. And as a student athlete in the United States, you run several competitions for your school because that's what you're contracted to do. Mm -hmm. That was why the main reason why you went there in the first place. So them coming back to compete for Nigeria or Africa, as the case may be, it's, a, it's seen as a long season for them. So give them some time. Most of them, majority of them, is just their first year in, in college. They left Nigeria, uh, some left December, some left January this year. So they are still young, they are still growing, they are still maturing into the game. Give them two, three years. Let's be precise. 
by uh, Paris 2024, you will see a different uh, class of uh, uh, group of uh, young athletes that are going to come out of this set. Yeah, the Kenyans are, have now begun to harass us in the short sprints. Short sprints, they used to be We, we long used to know them runners. for the long distance races. And now we have a Kenyan um, doing very well as Africa's uh, fastest man. Do you see any of your words currently, any of your male at least, um, taking up the challenge and, and um, restoring the domination mm -hmm. of the like GDMOs, the Adenikens yeah. of this world? Or sub 10. Mm -hmm. Well, sports and athletics precisely it's not meant for one person or one continent alone or one region alone. <laughs> it's, it's everybody's game. You can find a sprinter anywhere in the world. Yes, the Kenyans and the Ethiopians are, and the East Africans are known for, for long, middle and long distance mm. races. Mm. Yes, we reserve the sprints for the West Africa, especially Nigeria. But like I said, the wave of sprinters that came from Nigeria have long gone. Mm. The, 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 that set is gone. We're grooming a new set. Mm. It takes four to eight years mm. to build a, a, an athlete, mm. especially in athletics. It takes time. Mm -hmm. Very few people make it in the first first four uh, years of uh, of of, of uh, Olympics. Mm. Some make it by the next four years. Mm. So I believe we have right now four top uh, nine runners. Mm -hmm. These four athletes can run between 10 and 9 seconds in the 100 meters. Mm -hmm. And there is more coming. Mm -hmm. we, we have them. We just need to give, be patient and give them a few years to grow. It takes time to grow athletics. I want, I want to just time. ask you quickly, Mary. Do we also have the um, such quality of coaches that we had back then, the Tobias Igues, the Urobos? the Harris and one month from Quara, and the rest of them who groomed people like you to become world beaters. Do we still have such talented coaches? We have tons of coaches, just like the Tobias Igwe's uh, in Nigeria. We do have them. What we need to do is, uh, I, I agree with you, what we need to do is uh, get the Federation to set up a very strong coaching uh, coaches association and uh, what do you call um, uh, send them or bring uh, specialists down here to train them on the latest uh, system of coaching. Mm -hmm. All we right. do have, we, we, we have them, but we just need to brush up their skills a little bit. Yeah. But if we have majority of our athletes right now, especially the sprints and the jumps all in the U.S., we let, let the American people do what they do best for us with them and then the ones we have back home we groom the the, the next set to also send off because academic and uh, sports must go hand in hand that is mm. one thing that the honorable minister and uh, myself have firmly believed in that's Are why you, when thank you. it was time for them to get a scholarship we didn't hesitate Are to thank you. get out there and sports to work together yeah. for me, former olympian queen of nigerian sprints mary onyali omagumi oh. I want to thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thanks and for having me. Regards to Victor. Okay. So, so I they're just telling me now that the governor of Oshun State, that Adigwe Gawitola, has congratulated the water lifter Adijat Olari Loye for winning Nigeria's first gold medal at the ongoing Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, United States. Mm -hmm. That's from Oshun State. Yes. Her name is Adijat Olari Loye. And from report, Oshun State. And the report coming in is that we got one and that good. We won and that good. Yes, yes. Congratulations. <laughs> so, I just something to share about. Something to share about. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when Absolutely. we had the uh, Marion Yalis, it was a great era for Nigerian yeah, sports. And Mary married yeah. Victor Omagbemi. 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 Victor Omagbemi was also a sprinter a who yeah. was his school champion in the US. Mm. So we had a very mm. good crop of sprinters mm. at that time mm. and fantastic coaches. Mm.